Hey there guys, it's Amit and welcome to DevDreamer. So then, welcome to lesson number five. And in this lesson, we're taking a look at the head section and body section of our HTML file. So let's begin. So first then, let's take a look at the head section. So let's just move this down a little. And let's open this up. And we can write our code in here. So what exactly is the head section of our HTML file? Well, this is where we put all the background information of our site. So things such as who the author is, um, keywords that relate to our website, a basic description of the site, um, the title, also any sort of links to other files as well, such as CSS, will all go in our head section. Basically, anything that we don't want to show up in the main browser window uh, will go in our head section. So just think of it as the background information. So then let's take a look at some examples. First one we're going to look at is the title tag. So at the moment then you can see on our tab here, we've got a bunch of numbers and index.html, which looks horrible, right? Not user friendly at all. How do we change that? Very simple. In our head section, we simply use a title tag. And inside that, we simply type in what we want this page to be called. So I'm just going to type in, um, let's go for dev, streamer, and then you usually have this sort of pipe sort of symbol, don't you, in naming tabs. And we'll type in HTML lessons. Okay, and so now you can see up here in our tab, we have the title Dev Dreamer HTML lessons. Very simple. Now the next one we can look at is the meta character set tab. And this is just basically for character encoding. In other words, what sort of characters are we using? To write it, we simply do an open bracket. And for now, I'm gonna to refer to these as opening and closing brackets, because that's essentially what they're being used as in HTML. So our open bracket, then the word meta, M-E-T-A, space, car set, which is basically an amalgamation of the words character and set. And then in here, the one that is used universally and the one that you're gonna be using is UTF-8. Okay, and then we close it off. Now, at this point, you're saying, hang on a second, Amit. I thought you told me that tags in HTML have open tags and closing tags. So why then have you not included a, a closing meta tag here like this? Right? And why is this coming up with an error? Why is this all gone red? Well, there are a handful of tags in HTML that don't actually require a closing tag. Um, and that's because we're not actually putting anything in those tags. So for example, this meta tag here, um, we're not actually putting anything inside the tag, it's ju it just goes inside the uh, opening part of the tag. So we can just close it off like this. Okay, whereas with the title, we actually had something in here, that's why we had to close it off with a closing tag. Okay, so let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at some other meta tags. Um, so we do meta, and then we do name. And let's go for author. And this is of course just who the author of the site is. So we can do content, and then in here we can write who the author is. So I'm just gonna put my name in. And again, we can close that off. Let's go for another meta tag. So meta name equals, now let's go for, let's go for description. We'll do space, content. And this is gonna be, um, let's just do a very simple one. We'll just say, this site is about HTML. All right, something very basic. Uh, I'm just gonna minimize this a bit so we put everything on one line. And in fact, let's just, that looks a bit small. Let's just bump this up now. Okay, hope that's better. Uh, let's go for another meta tag. Meta name equals, uh, let's go for now keywords, content, and then we just put some comma separated keywords. So we can just say HTML, uh, tutorial, um, I don't know, coding. And then we can just close that off. So these are the basic meta tags that you're gonna be using. Um, and there is another one actually as well, which I'll share with you. And this is basically used for um, ensuring that the site looks good on a mobile. So it's a bit lengthy, so just bear with me, but you will find that because you'll be writing this over and over and over again, it will just become second nature to you and you'll just know how to write it. So again, we start with meta. And we'll say name equals, and what viewport, and then content equals width, equals device hyphen width comma initial hyphen scale equals one we can write like this as well zero and then we'll just close that out so again as i said it's a bit lengthy oh put the right place so it's a bit lengthy but as i said as you keep writing this out you'll get used to it and um, it'll become second edge to you let's take a look at something else in um let's go for let's go for changing this so at the moment, then, we don't actually have an icon on our page. Um, so if we went to a site such as Facebook, we can see that uh, with Facebook, they've got this little logo here, this little icon. Um, so how do we add that? 
It's very simple. We'll do a link, and we'll say rel icon. And then basically, we need to put an image in here. Now, at the moment, if we just drag this down, open this up, we can see all we've got in our file is, uh, in our folder, sorry, it's just an index.html file. So let's just drag this image in here. Close that out. And now, if I just move this across, you'll see we have uh, our logo here. Okay. So how do we use this logo then as our icon image? Well, it's very simple. We do link rel icon, and then we just simply say href, we reference to that, and it's ddlogo.png, okay, right here. So we can close this out. And now, as you can see, we now have our icon. Just move this up. We now have our icon here, okay? Very simple. So that's basically um, things that go in the head tag. Um, let me show you actually another one, something you're gonna be using quite a lot. It's basically when you learn CSS, we're gonna be putting our CSS in a, a separate file. So let me show you how to do that, it's link, rel equals style sheet and then um, before html5 you had to do something called type and then text slash css but with html5 you don't need to put this in anymore you can simply go to the href and this is going to be um, style.css now you can name this whatever you like um, so this could be you know, anything.css you can name it whatever you like you don't need to name it style.css but this file we haven't actually created yet, um, so you would actually go ahead and create this in your folder. So again, let me show you how to do that. So let's just do command N, create a new file, let's save this, make sure we're saving it in our HTML lessons folder, and it was called style.css, save. And now we can see that we have a style.css file here. Um, and we'll look at CSS, of course, a bit later on down the line, but just to give you a quick example, let's just do uh, body, so I'm selecting, selecting the body, and I'm saying I want the background color, to be red. And as you can see now, the background color has gone red. Okay, so this external style sheet here, CSS file, is used for all our styling and it's linked using this tag here, uh, the link rel style sheet, and then a reference to it, and it goes in the head section. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this for now. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so that's basically the head section. So again, it's just all the information that goes in the background. And as I said, as you continue to build sites and, and practice and learn, this is gonna become second nature to you and you'll be writing this out literally in sort of 30 seconds, okay? So then let's just close this out. Oh yeah, by the way, you can close tags down or collapse them rather by clicking on this little uh, arrow here, okay? That actually closes it out. So then now let's move on to the body section. And the body section is quite self-explanatory really. Everything that we actually want to show up on the web page will go in the body section. So things such as the paragraph tag, which we've taken a look at, um, say hello there, um, and other tags as well, um, such as image tag will go in here as well. I think it's gonna be quite big. Yeah, it's uh, huge because this is quite a big file. Let's just do style equals width. 200 pixels. Okay, so we can put images in here as well, like that. Okay, so that's it for this lesson, guys. So, again, a quick recap anything that goes in the uh, head section is basically the background information for the site. So, things such as description, keywords, um, who the author is, title, etc., links to other files as well. Um, and then the, for the body section, it's basically what we want to show up in the actual browser window. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and hope it was useful. Please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.